Thanks, Anthony. John Bond sweating on his toes. Coming in, and off they go from the two-mile start for the High Flyer Bloodstock Novices Chase. John Bon on the outside of Mon Morale as they exit the chute and join the round course on their way to the first of the 12 fences. West Cork settles three lengths off the two main protagonists as they close in on the first fence. John Bon on the outside of Mon Morale. John Bon picked up just in front of Mon Morale. West Cork, about four lengths behind them, away to the right, but back on an even keel as they close in on fence number two. Mon Morale touched down ahead of John Bon, and once again, West Cork, far from convincing, and now six lengths off his two rivals as they race up to pass the enclosures. And John Bon now goes to the front under Aidan Coleman. Moves on by nearly a length, going into the first left-hander, Mon Morale, on the inside under Harry Cobden, and West Cork already seven lengths adrift as the front pair approach fence number three. John Bon will pick up in front, but only marginally from Mon Morale, and seven or eight lengths back to West Cork at the first of the open ditches, fence number four. John Bon, Mon Morale, both handled it okay. West Cork, 10 lengths adrift of them. As they rise at fence number five, John Bon from Mon Morale, about a half to three parts of a length behind the market leader as they race up the hill and they're already 10 or a dozen lengths clear of West Cork as they reach the hilltop and John Bon has taken two lengths out of Mon Morale as they make the descent to the back straight. And West Cork can't be found at the moment as Mon Morale charts a much wider course than John Bon coming down the hill. He was sticking to the inside of him in the earlier stages. John Bon now has the advantage of the inner as they prepare to head off into the back straight. And West Cork is still continuing, but he'd be more than 15 lengths behind the front pair. John Bon leads by two over Mon Morale as they level off to the first of five fences jumped in the back straight. John Bon and Aidan Coleman with Mon Morale closing in on him once again. And West Cork a remote third over the first in the back straight. John Bon by a couple of lengths again, quicker than Mon Morale. West Cork not losing any further ground as the Leading pair come over the final open ditch, six out. John Bon led by three or four lengths over Mon Morale. West Cork is making an effort. He has closed a bit over the middle fence in the back straight. John Bon by nearly three lengths over Mon Morale. About a dozen lengths back to West Cork as they come to jump the fourth from home. John Bon picks up less than two lengths in front of Mon Morale. West Cork a dozen lengths adrift of them. Coming over the third from home, John Bon. Slightly quicker again than Mon Morale. The gap between them, three and a half lengths, and Harry Cobden is the first to become animated of the front pair. West Cork making no further impression. He's back in third, and John Bon has gone six or seven lengths clear from Mon Morale. Make that eight or ten as they close in on the second last. West Cork is closing on Mon Morale as John Bon comes to jump two out. Foot perfect. 10 lengths clear of Mon Morale. West Cork once again shifted to the right on the way towards the 12th and final fence. John Bon in total command jumps the last. About 10 lengths clear of Mon Morale. West Cork shifted right to put himself spot on, but they're coming home with about 10 or a dozen lengths between them with John Bon coasting home to provide Aidan Coleman with a double on the day, his 15th winner of the season. John Bon impresses on his steeplechasing debut. Mon Morale was beaten off a long way from home and West Cork was... Aidan Coleman, marks out of 10 for that performance. I mean, it looked pretty straightforward from the get-go. Yeah, it's your job to give him max out of 10. It's my job to ride him. Um, <laughs> look, yeah, very straightforward, as I always said he is. Uh, jumped very well and won nicely, so, yeah, it's great. To do. He certainly was, and I mean, I think the most impressive part of the race was how quickly he, he put daylight between himself and a very promising chaser in, in, in his own right, Mon Morel. Yeah, Mon is a very good horse, and as you say, we're only a few pounds clear of him in ratings, so so like um, he wouldn't have 
thought coming coming here it would necessarily be the you know the 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 one horse race like people are making it out to be but then i suppose at the line we won well but uh, the second horse is a very good horse as well and the, third. <laughs> and the third indeed yeah. he gives context to this kind of race was that everything you wanted to see from the first time out yeah no it's everything i expected is everything i wanted to see um you see, he walked around the preliminaries super, went down to the start easy, was lovely in the race, jumped good and did what he's here to do, what he always seems to do. So, very happy, yeah. Very exciting. Well done, Ed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nicky, I suspect you've been dreaming of this moment for quite some time. Even before his bumper debut, we've been waiting to see John Bon over a fence. How was that for you? Well, you're quite right. I mean, this was always going to be his game, but he was a very, very high-class hurdler last year. There was only one horse that was too good for him, but luckily that's tucked away in seven barrels, hopefully waiting for Saturday. But, you know, apart from that, there weren't any better novices last year. And, you know, it was, this was always going to be the game. And, I guess it's just a huge, yes, it's what we hoped for, but it's an enormous relief. Now it's over, he jumps, he gallops. He was very good today, he was nicely relaxed. I mean, it's a great race course, beautiful ground, lovely fences, good test. There's a good fences down the back. They have to be jumped. Um, um, perfect, to be honest with you. I mean, you couldn't have just hoped for more. I thought coming into this, this was going to be a great test. Those fences down the back come quickly. It makes a horse think about exactly what he needs to do. And first up, that's no mean feat. No, you, th this isn't a, a race course to take lightly over fences for a novice. There are easier. Um, I certainly wouldn't have wanted to go on to Sandown first time out, so which is why we had to do this. But, you know, he was pretty flawless there, and I like the way just a couple of fences up here. He was a bit long at the ditch, and then the next one he went and just sort of danced in and out quickly, and then he was foot perfect all the way. It was good to be... Plenty. I mean, most of our horses are in needing a run and coming on for it, and I don't see why he wouldn't do the same. Um, long way to go. I would, the, the whole idea really was to get a race in if we could, and it just gives us enough time, I hope, to, to get... You know, he's got two and a half... He's got, to the Henry VIII, Sandan, that's where we'd like to go next. I think what also must be particularly pleasing for yourself as a trainer is that was great, but there could be even more to come. I mean, he was, it was very much a first time out performance from a horse over fences. He'll learn, but he, he couldn't be much better at his jumping. Um, and those were two good horses. I mean, they went a very good gallop over the first. The first mile was run at a, I mean, I'd love, I don't know what, they're gonna, I'm not a great clock person, but they didn't hang about, um, which was nice that he'd, you know, kept him up to the up to speed and up to the, you know, kept his mind on the job that he had company, which was good. Uh, I thought we might well be having to do it on our own. Um, so it was a good, it was a good test. Uh, I say, lovely ground, so, you know, fingers crossed it falls well, that's, we, we move on, but there's a long, long way to go before the sort of, you know, it's the beginning. Um, it's exciting. Just finally, you mentioned the only horse who had been in front of him. How often are you checking the forecast there to Saturday? Oh, we're all right now. It's gone good to soft, soft in places or anything like that. I mean, I don't mind as long as it's good. the word good to firm doesn't come into it, then we're happy. No, he's, God willing, all set to go for Saturday. Well done, Nicky. Thank you.